Hey, what is going on guys? I'm back again. This time, Contraband. This is a really beautiful deck of cards and I'm going to review it. I've been playing around with it for about a day now, so uh, that gives me just enough time to let you know what I felt about it, how the deck feels, and how it's been putting up throughout that day. Now, uh, really quickly, I don't really use these decks to perform. I just use them, I feel them, and I put them back in my collection. So uh, if you're a magician out there, uh, you're not going to get the full benefit off of this video because this is not a one month into the deck review. It's just about a day uh, playing around with it. It's not a right out of the box review, but with that being said, let's start off with the front of the box. You do get contraband in that pretty pearl white. It just pops and stands out with that golden black. Okay, check that out. I'll throw some pictures up there too so you can see that. But you can go, you can see that it has like an old world kind of look to it. It's really beautiful. There's so much foils and embossing. It looks really beautiful. The back of the box is the back design of the deck. You do get like two globes going on and then so much artwork everywhere else. Just pay attention to that. It is um, wonderful to, to look at. I never get bored at seeing this back design. The bottom, you do just get your Theory 11 logo, a barcode, and some uh, Theory 11 information produced by Theory 11 Las Vegas, Nevada. Top of the box is covered by the stamp seal, which is a pretty cool little touch. I do like that stamp seal a lot. And uh, it's a custom seal as well, and it looks really good. Just look at the way that shines in the light. <clears throat> Moving on, we got the inside of the box. Now this is very unique. You do see this a lot now. Um, not only do you get black color in there, you also get some, uh, some foil, some black foil as well. And all inside the case, everywhere, I know it's a little difficult to see, but you do get this Theory 11 pattern going on, and I personally love that. Now, um, you know, to a performer who will never show this to their spectators, it really doesn't mean anything, but to me, being a collector, this means a lot. Uh, this is just a great conversation piece, and not only that, it's just, it just goes to show how much you know they really care about what they put out. So I think Theory 11 really, really knocked this one out of the park. It's just really pretty to look at, and then your um, side, your your uh, tabs right here on the side, uh, kind of got this little chain link thing going on to it. Looks really nice. All right, and that is the box. I forgot to mention, check that out. That is pretty cool. That is on the tab itself. I think that looks pretty cool, a little skull. It looks mean, it looks you know, bad, and I, I like that. All in all, the tuck case itself is 100% awesome. Moving on, we got the cards. All right, so the cards are gonna have a really beautiful back design, and uh, it's the same thing that you just saw, uh, but this time you don't get the foil, you get it in black and white. Uh, simple, really elegant, really nice, does not look busy, but at the same time, if you just get that you know extra second to look at it, you can just see how much went into this. You get you two globes right there and everything around it, you really have to pay attention to see what it is. Um, you know, you get your two skulls right here that you saw on the on the tab. And all in all, just everything around this back design is beautiful, it's elegant, and it's just really, really awesome. You get your ad card, Theory 11 ad card, okay, and it has the same theme that's going on inside the box with your Theory 11 little logos there, um, or in Roman numerals. Really nice. Next, you also get your two jokers cool thing about these two jokers is it's following that theme uh, you got you know kind of a compass look going on to it and I really love how they added these gold foils to it too looks really beautiful and really elegant I've never seen a joker this cool though what I mean by that is just look at that they took this blank canvas and just you know inked it all up with with gold foils and they really left nothing um, they left no no piece of the card undone. Everything is painted on, and 
it is awesome. I'd never seen a full Joker like this. So it's really beautiful, identical Jokers. Um, looks pretty wicked and looks pretty cool. Next you get your four aces, I'm sorry, a double backer. Uh, so this is not a surprise, but it's a nice touch. Next you get your four aces. Now just like any other four aces, these do have their little uh, pros and cons. And uh, what I mean by pros and cons is for a magician, you have some cons. For a collector, it's all pros. Okay, so cons, for a magician, your aces are basically all alike. And why that is a con, I guess that's because magicians like the ace of spades to just be the unique one. But uh, if that really doesn't bother you, then there really is no con. But check that out, that is really beautiful. The artwork on this is just excellent, it's amazing. Okay, that's the ace of spades, the ace of diamonds. Ace of clubs. And then you get your ace of hearts. Now that you've seen the aces, let's go ahead and check out the other uh, custom cards. Every card in this deck is going to be custom. Every spade, every club, every heart, every diamond, basically every suit, every uh, you know pip, every number is going to be custom. Each one of them has its little touch. Now if you can see, they all have this little thing going on in there. It's kind of like a shading, a white shading inside the, the uh, suit itself. I don't know if you can see that. All right, um, the diamonds have it as well. It's just really nice, it's custom, and it doesn't look too uh, crazy. It's just, it kind of looks standard, but at the same time, it looks you know, much, if, if you use cards a lot, you know the difference between the standard and this. It looks much prettier. Uh, for example, let's show you one of the court cards here. This is a custom court card. That is the Queen of Clubs, obviously. It's simple. It doesn't have too much things going on to it. I like the color scheme. I like the simplicity of it. And there's just a custom feel overall. Let's show you some other court cards. I won't bore you guys showing you every single one because once you see two or three of them, you basically get the, the idea. But uh, I know some people like to see them, so I'll spread through some of them here. The King of Diamonds. King of Hearts. This time he's not a Suicide King, which is kind of weird. Kind of different to see. King of Clubs. Okay, so now that you've seen how the, the deck looks overall, let's talk about the stock, the handling, and the feel. One thing I do not like about this deck is the stock, it bends quite easily in your, in your hands. Just by the heat of your hands, this, this stock will bend. And you can kind of see that already. Um, it's not too much, but it's it's to the point where it's kind of annoying. So this bottom card, if I if I have it on my hand for just a little while, it'll bend. It'll take up a little warp to it just because of the warmth of my hand. And honestly, I've never had that problem with with other decks. Now I know that they're all made out of paper, and you can't you know uh, that's not something you can control. But this is something I wouldn't expect from from a deck like this. All right, um, but other than that, I mean, everything else is pretty good about it. The stock is thin, but it has a nice snappy feel to it, okay? I don't know how they, uh, they managed to do that, but for some reason, it is thin, and it has a snappy feel to it. It's something that is unexplainable, and something that you just have to feel for yourself. So the feel is pretty good feels really nice in the hands. It's really great to play with. Your fans are so great because of those thin borders, okay? Um, so that is something that you will be having fun with, especially giant fans. Now, that's something I can't do, but uh, for any of you out there that know how to do giant fans, <laughs> please take it on because these thin borders really, really look nice with, 
with the busy background especially. I mean, I love that. Now, I'm not a great fanner, but it just simply looks amazing just, just because of the thin borders. All right, so everything else about this deck is great. I guess the only thing or the only issue I have with it is that the card the cards bend pretty pretty easily. Now, if you put it back in the box and you leave it there for a day, you know, you you don't see those bends anymore, but it's just something that that really annoyed me. But really snappy thin stock and I really like that. So, I'm pretty sure all the magicians and cardists out there would really like this. <clears throat> Let's try some cuts and they feel really good. It feels really solid and simple uh, to use. They're not too slippery. It's just that finish that is really, I guess, um, it's perfect. So other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. I know it wasn't too much. I'm not much of a cardist here, but I hope you enjoyed and you got to learn a little bit about the contraband deck. And if I were to you know, recommend it to anybody, it'd be to both cardists and magicians and especially collectors. There's really nothing disappointing about it except the, uh, the way the stock bends to me. But uh, if you don't experience that problem, then you have nothing to worry about. Other than that, guys, you guys take care. Be waiting for my next review, and I'll see you next time.